Hey guys, Hacker Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be going over the five best antivirus programs that I've used, tested, and I'm going to go over the one that I use today and talk about why I think that's the best option. But the first one that we're going to look at here is called Avast. Now, Avast uh, is one you've probably heard of before. It's a completely free antivirus program. Um, now, all of these do have paid versions, obviously, available. Um, so that's something to keep in mind here, but what I'm gonna be going over and focusing on are the free options for each of these products. So for this particular one with the free version here, you can see that uh, you can go to the website, you can easily download um, the free version of this application. I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Um, this is the general uh, look and feel of the actual program itself. Uh, you can see that you have um, you know, general protection here, uh, a file shield which scans all of the added files on your machine. Um, you have a behavior shield, web shield, and a mail shield. So it even uh, blocks dangerous email attachments in your mailbox. Um, it's pretty standard. You do have a performance option here where you can tweak um, some things to make sure that everything is running optimally on your machine. Um, so that's all good and well, but it's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward antivirus program. Um, when I used it and tried it out, I didn't have too many problems. Um, there were a couple times where the application crashed on me, and I actually did have at one point a period where it caused my machine to blue screen, which I was able to fix. Um, after I got the machine back up, I just reinstalled the application, and I didn't have that problem again. Um, but I will say that it did crash my machine once, and there were a few times that I noticed that the... Um, the load was a little bit heavy in terms of what the application was pulling from my machine. So if we go through uh, our images here, here's another view so you can see some of the privacy features here. You can safely manage your passwords, you can shred data in here. Um, you have a built-in VPN option, which is nice, um, which many of these you'll see is going to have as well. Uh, you have a webcam shield to prevent people from being able to access your webcam. Uh, Anti-track feature, which is a premium feature only, but there is something that can stop ad tracking. And then there's a sensitive data shield as well. So um, pretty standard stuff here. Um, overall, pretty decent antivirus program. It's not the one that I currently use, um, but I did use it for a little while. It was probably my runner-up in terms of what I use the second longest for free antivirus programs. Um, so it's definitely a solid option, um, but we'll move on to the next one here, uh, which is Avira. And Avira, again, you'll see the different options and the different tiers here. Um, there's an essential security premium and all-in-one security privacy and performance option here. And so all of these are going to have different unique features depending on what you go with. But you can see here with the free version, um, you get free antivirus, password management, and software updates. Here's a quick look at what the application is going to look like. Um, and if we go through a couple other things here, um, this is, I think, an older version. So um, this is the newest version here, but you can see um, just a couple things here that are built in. So you've got the modules here, um, and you can go in here and activate web protection, mail protection. Um, the firewall is optional as well, but that's something I believe is only in the paid version. So it's pretty similar to Avast in terms of feature set. Not a ton of different uh, additional features in here. It does have a very good back-end engine as far as what it's using to actually uh, track threats, which is considered the heuristics. So it is good on that front. Um, overall, pretty solid option. Uh, it was also lighter weight, I felt, than Avast, and in testing from what I've seen, um, a little bit lower in terms of the usage um, on your machine's resources than Avast. Um, pretty bare bones in terms of the features that it offers, but it's a solid option. The next one we're going to look at here is Bitdefender, and Bitdefender is a very popular option. Both the free and paid versions are actually pretty popular options with Bitdefender. Um, and you can see here that some of the things that um, are really kind of marketed here is the speed and efficiency of the antivirus program here. You can see it's lightning fast, or it's marketed as being very lightning fast. Uh, when compared to things like Kaspersky, Symantec, and Mac McAfee, um, it's definitely rated better in terms of protection and performance, at least based off what they're kind of representing here. And I can definitely say that overall the experience was pretty good with Bitdefender. Um, I would say that it's somewhere in between Avira and Avast in terms of uh, the usage, at least in my testing. Uh, and you can see if I scroll down here, there's some uh, different breakdowns of what you'll get depending on which version you go with here. Uh, again, I'm just talking about the free version, which is antivirus, and all of these which are antivirus. It's going to be antivirus only, which means it does not come with a firewall built in. 
you can always get that in the paid version or you can get a free firewall as well depending on what you want uh, but in this particular case we're talking about just the antivirus program itself Looking at the uh, different features here, again, just like some of the other options, you have a VPN option, which is nice. Um, there's safe pay built in, which is pretty cool, something that was unique from some of the other options here. Um, quick scanning features, um, and this is, looking at some of these features here, some of, the, some of these are going to be kind of limited to the premium version, of course, but um, these are just kind of the basic uh, features here. Ransomware remediation recommendations. Um, all those kinds of things. Uh, the backend engine also, again, is, is a pretty good one here with Bitdefender. Um, I, I found that Avira and Bitdefender both had um, better heuristics or seemed to do better in terms of their heuristics than Avast did. Um, but I did like some of the uh, neat little tools that Avast included that was not included um, with Bitdefender. So, uh, again, Bitdefender also a solid option here. Um, then we also have Sophos Home, which is... Uh, a little bit newer in the space of free antivirus programs, and the reason that I say that is because uh, with Sophos, it's previously been often associated as being a paid um, option, but they do have Sophos Home, which is completely free. Um, again, you can download that just like these other options here, and if we look at um, what it looks like here, it's a pretty solid option. Uh, you get web protection, ransom uh, web protection, privacy protection, and malicious traffic detection here. Um, not really anything unique or special from um, the other options on the list here. I can say that I worked for a company, a retail company, that actually um, really pushed this software. I know that they have a lot of um, involvement with some different companies that really like to push this particular product. Um, it's pretty, dis uh, pretty, pretty good in terms of um, you know how it actually operates, but there's not a lot that really differentiates it is what I meant to say. Um, from the other options, but the one thing that was a little bit problematic with Sophos is it can be a bit aggressive in terms of how it's um, actually detecting things and uh, you know can certainly block a lot of things that other applications may not block. So that's the only caveat I would say with this particular option is that you'll find um, that oftentimes um, you might have to go in there and exclude things that you wouldn't from other options here. Now, the one that I'm going to be talking about here, which is actually my personal favorite option, um, just my preference, um, was 360 Total Security. Now, the thing that I like so much about 360 Total Security here is that 360 Total Security is extremely quick to install. It took me less than two minutes to install the application. Um, it's very lightweight, but probably most important for me specifically is actually how easy it is to manage exclusions. And that's what I really like about this application because I find that I download a lot of third-party applications to test very frequently. And what I really wanted from an application is something that doesn't just automatically block things. It really gives me the option um, frequently to be able to tell something that it's allowed um, and just not kind of um, always blocking things that could interfere with an installation and things like that. So that's why I really like this application. Um, it's got some pretty cool little things, which I'm going to actually go in a little bit more depth with this application because it's the one I use and the one that I know the most about um, from purely experience. Another thing that's really cool about this application is this actually uses heuristics from multiple engines, which is very cool. Um, it uses um, heuristics from the 360 Cloud Scan Engine, which is the uh, the one that comes from Kihu, which is it is a Chinese-based company. Um, but they have their own engine, but they also use um, this QVMII AI engine. Um, they also have uh, the Avira engine as well. So you have these two engines. These first two I'm not really too familiar with. Um, but the Avira engine, of course, is the same one from the Avira free antivirus program that we discussed before. So it's actually using that engine. Um, if you just think about it that way, you're getting at least as good of protection as Avira, but plus you have two additional engines running in the background, which is actually um, giving you additional protection and um, you know helping with your security there. It's got an anti-ransomware arsenal here, real-time detection, intelligent blocking, and a document processor. So just some uh, some different things here. There is uh, a breakdown again of the different um, options, both free and the paid version as well. Um, now, what I'm going to be going into detail with here today for you guys, when I open up the application for you guys, I wanted to go into detail um, 
with just some of the tools that are found here in the suite. So if I go to the toolbox here, there's a lot of really cool things that you can do. So you'll notice that some of these here, um, and you'll find later on in the video, not all of these tools are necessarily built by the same company. So for example, the VPN I noticed um, is actually using EasySurf VPN, and there's a few of these other ones here that may, may use other tools. So the thing that's kind of a pro and con here, I guess, is that it's not a built-in tool um, working specifically within the application, um, but it is very nice that it kind of gives you the option for a one-stop shop to access all these tools you might need to keep your machine running properly. Um, so there's ad blocker technology in here. Um, there's a desktop organizer. Um, talked about the VPN, which is Surf Easy uh, VPN, I believe. Uh, data shredder, disk analyzer, uh, document protector, uh, registry cleaner. There's a ton of different options in here. Um, you can change the themes, uh, all that kind of stuff. So a lot of cool things in here. Um, again, one other caveat that I'd say, which really doesn't bother me too much, um, but I will say that um, occasionally there is an ad or so that I've seen pop up within um, just coming straight from the taskbar. I've seen like ads pop up. It usually only pops up once when you boot the machine up um, and it's kind of just uh, a welcome kind of ad sort of a thing. Um, but other than that, it doesn't ever fire any ads. It's only at the PC startup that that's happened for me. That doesn't really bother me too much, and especially compared to just how well the application has worked, at least in my experience, I thought it was definitely very well worth it. So pretty basic um, internet protection here, ransomware blocking, webcam protection built in, um, malicious website blocking, online shopping protection is built in as well. Um, so when you're shopping online, you know, it helps to prevent fraudulent sites uh, from being used, uh, protect your USB drives, um, network threats, and things like that. So a lot of really cool things built in. Uh, your traditional virus scan, where you can do a quick scan, full scan, or customize your scan. Um, there is a built-in speed-up function here, which means that you can go in and you can um, you know, initiate some of these tasks to get your machine running a little bit more quickly and a built-in cleanup function here as well so you can clean up old files and remove stuff from your sh machine that might be slowing it down for example. So those are the basic features here, the basic functions that I kind of want to go over just very quickly here and to talk about it a little bit um, more. Now I will talk to you here um, about there's a point system which is kind of unique and I wanted to talk about this because there will be a link in the description. Uh, guys, you get a free premium subscription or at least um, I believe it's a month or two uh, of premium you get temporarily premium for free um, for this antivirus program if you use the link in the description um, for all people who are using referral links you actually get a completely free um, temporary premium subscription which is great so if you guys want to try out the premium version of this product you can absolutely do that using the link in the description or if you don't need those premium features and you just want to use the free version which is actually what I'm using um, then you can feel free to, um, to still use that link in the description. And you'll be able to download the free version of the application as well. Um, but again, this is my personal recommendation. I'm not sponsored by the company. Uh, it's just the application that after research I found and I've been using for quite some time because I'd used these other applications before and I played around with them on various occasions. I wanted to kind of review them. And these are still uh, my picks for the best applications out there, but today I currently use 360 Total Security as my antivirus program. Um, I did at one point download a separate firewall, which I believe was Zone Alarm, um, which is also completely free, but I found that I actually don't really need that anymore, especially with Windows 10. Um, I have not been using a firewall, uh, a separate firewall program, and I haven't had any problems. I've never had um, a virus on this machine, actually. Um, even transferring over from Windows 8 to Windows 10. Um, I've never had any problems since I've used this application. And, um, you know, again, there there are a couple things here at the top. You'll see it does prompt you to upgrade if you're using the free version. But other than that, that one ad that pops up, nothing really too intrusive. And it just works really well. The scans are very quick. Um, when I launch the application, I need to go and do things in here. It just works very snappy. Um, and the fact that it gives you two, actually three built-in engines is really cool, I think, because it's adding on to the security. Uh, and then again, just how easy it was to install, I found with the other options, um, there was a little bit more involved of a process to install those applications, while this one, it installs so quickly, so easily, it was just really appealing to me. So, um, that's what I wanted to show you guys today, was this application, 
um, and these others here as well. Um, just basically my picks for the top five antivirus programs, which you guys can feel free to check out. Um, I will have links in the description for you guys to follow. Um, now, before we go here, I did want to just very quickly talk about a way that you guys can um, support the channel completely free. As you guys have may, may have seen in some of the previous videos that I've done, um, I do not have a sponsor for my videos, um, but I do offer, I like to offer different ways for you guys to uh, either make some free money, um, earn free stock, and things like that. And in this case, we're talking about Webull, which is a website that allows you to trade stock. Um, but if you guys use the link in the description, a free way you can support my channel is by simply clicking on that link in the description. And it will allow you to accept a free stock just by creating an account. You don't have to invest anything. You don't have to even connect a payment method. All you have to do is click that link in the description and accept your free stock. And you'll get anywhere from $2.50 worth of stock up to $250 worth of, worth of stock. Um, if you guys actually want to use the account and you actually want to trade stock, depending on how much you deposit, you can actually get a second stock free as well up to $1,400 worth, so if that's something you guys are interested in, um, definitely feel free to do that. That is an option as well, um, but definitely check that out and also check the description for more ways that you can support the channel completely free. But otherwise, guys, um, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.